Good afternoon, everyone. I am just popping on here. I'm making a video while I'm sitting in my vehicle. I mean, it's probably a little tacky to do so, but I just figured it was, I have the moment I'm going to make the video. I've had multiple people ask me, um, how can I smudge if I'm allergic to smoke? How can I smudge? Um, what types of smudging is there? What forms? There's multiple types of smudge sticks multiple each one has a different purpose i'm going to go with the most basic which is white sage that there's a this is a two-parter by the way i had somebody ask me about um does white sage cleanse all negative energy does white sage cleanse all energy in its surroundings white sage cleanses your home it cleanses for the purpose of ridding your home of nasty energies or low vibrational energies um but what it does not do it does not send away land spirit energy land spirit energy is something that is connected to the earth um, it does not send away elementals energy, elemental energy. Um, these are all natural sources of energy that belong to the earth. Um, so when we have someone that passes away of natural causes, or we have someone that was a negative person in life, and they are the same way in spirit, that's what it takes away, that's what it cleanses. Um, low level energies are forms of energies that leech off your energy they take your energy and they use it more or less to feed themselves so when you feel drained and you feel um, tired and you feel angry out of nowhere usually that's an energy that's leeching from you um, so white sage is one of the best smudge smudge uh sticks that you can use um there's juniper there's rosemary there's tons of different kinds of smudge sticks but if you are allergic to smoke you can also make a spritz a spray how i do that is i use uh several different ingredients what i'll use is uh the actual um, sage stick and I will um, say my blessings over it and then I will crumple it up into the water or just take pieces instead of um, crushing it and I will sm set it in the water I will also use um, sea salt with that and I also will use cedar oil with that triple combination, you can have quite the powerful punch. There's also multiple other ways that you can uh, bless your home, cleanse your home. Um, I can get into that more so. I just wanted to pop on here and give you the basic question that I had asked. Uh, someone had asked me about. And that's just one of the simple ways that you can do it. But the thing about it is you can't just you can't just wipe away smoke energy. You can't wipe away energy with smoke. Um, you have to use your internal energy as well. You have to envision and ground yourself first. Ground and center yourself. Um, ask for your shielding. Ask for protection. Whatever it is that you... Um, you know an angel or guide or god any type of of beings that you call on for protection you do so first in grounding then you picture a white bubble around you a protection bubble but you also want to disperse the energy out of your home not with just your energy, but with your voice. You have to be very powerful. I reclaim my space. This is my space. This is my home. You do it with force. Um, but you also want to 
place and envision a powerful white light through your entire space. It's like a form of a spiritual cleansing in a sense where you're expanding your protective energy and sending it out into the home. Um, that is a lot of work. So if you practice every day on simple things like I always give my clients a, if you can't project the white light and you can't see the, the protective shield, just say it and ask for help from whatever it is, God, guides, the universe, um, guardians, gatekeepers, protectors. Um, and how I like to do the practice is I always start off something simple. If you, if you have a hard time with envisioning something, I want you to do two things. Think about what your child looks like. Pick, think about a happy memory of them and you'll automatically go to that memory. You'll automatically see that in your head. Or you could stare at a picture for quite a while and then close your eyes. And what do you see in your head? You're visualizing it in that sense. So those are the two practices that I like to tell people to do. Or you can also state, I visualize, do this every single day um, and picture, picture it in your head like this. I visualize a cat. Think about a cat and you'll see a cat. I visualize a dog. I visualize a bicycle. I visualize my home. What does the inside of my home look like? I visualize that. Go down the line of things that you are already familiar with to do that. It's, it could be very easy or it could be very hard. Um, but if you do it enough, you'll start to put it, you'll start to put that in your element of practice and it will become easier and easier and easier and easier for you to do these things. Um, so think about that, practice it in that way. Um, and as soon as you can start doing that, remember spiritual protection, it's a lot of work and you have to be willing to put the work in. This is not for everybody. So if you have five minutes a day, practice it. Spiritual, leading in a spiritual way does not mean you have to be this, um, it does not mean you have to be this holy person, a proper person. What I'm trying to say is you have to be you have to be willing to work at this if this is what you really want. Just like anything else in life, a job, you know, a marriage, a mother, a, you know, a father, a parent, anything like that. You have to work at it. Um, just that thing alone, when you're cleansing your house and you really want something to leave that you know is present, you have to work at it. You have to be present. You have to be physical with it in, in that general aspect. I want you to leave. This is my home. You need to leave now. And when you're grounding and centering yourself, put that power within you. No fear. Ask for your protection. Ground and center. Ascend out your light into your home as like a healing. Ask that what is there. Tell them whatever is there. You need to go to the light. You have to move on from this place. Okay? So Jenny, this is my video for you today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found understanding from it.